our top story tonight, a 14-year-old tourist has been shot here at Coakley Bay. News Channel 8's Wes Small is on the scene. Thanks a lot, Jerome. Uh, we're in St. Thomas. We're at Cokey Point. I'm going to get right to it. This is the cemetery where 23-year-old Joseph Ferrari uh, was buried around noon. And it's one of these vaults here with the flowers on them. This is still an uh, ongoing investigation, but it's horrible news. It is tragedy that is bound to make Fox and CNN news nationally. I am here at the Cokey Point where we have a 14-year-old tourist who was killed in crossfire. We also have an 18-year-old uh, victim, a local, who was shot as well. Now, here's what we know. As the camera pans in this direction, a young man was walking towards Joseph Ferrari's funeral, paying respects. We have witnesses saying that it was suspects in a red car who spotted this victim going to the funeral. It is then when the red car fired on this 18-year-old and his body lay here, which is perpendicular to the cemetery here in Cokey Point. There, of course, is the, is the beautiful bay, tourists coming in by the droves. Sadly, that 18-year-old was shot right in this area as he lie here we have reports coming from people in the area that the ambulance took over an hour to get here. But during that time, when that victim was down, we had this is sketchy, which could be his brother, over the body with a weapon. That same red car was stuck behind a tourist safari bus. What happened then? The person with the victim on the ground fired at the red car, hitting the safari bus, mortally wounding that 14-year-old tourist. At this time, I have no names. We do know that Novell Francis, the VIPD commissioner, has been to the scene. He is at the police department at his headquarters now. I also have been on the phone with Melody Rains. But this is what we know. Sometime this afternoon at 12 o'clock, at this funeral procession here for Joseph Ferrari. By the way, Joseph Ferrari was the victim at 22 Park Mall approximately two weeks ago. And I believe that was a daring daytime shooting. You might remember that. So to have at this funeral then, people coming to really finish the job and shooting into a funeral procession, unbelievable. Then when that victim was down, Somebody who came to see over him apparently, allegedly, fired at that red car, stuck in back of a safari bus, killing an innocent 14-year-old tourist who visited our islands. We don't know her name. We don't know where they're from. We don't have the local victim's name as well. I am in St. Thomas at Cokey Point. We will be all over this the rest of the week. I'm Wes Small. For News Channel 8. And we now have an update. A manhunt is now in progress for Steve Tyson in the above wanted double homicide, which occurred this afternoon at Cokey Point area at the graveyard. Steve Tyson is approximately five foot seven and 170 pounds in weight. Uh, again, if you have seen this man, please call the Virgin Islands Police Department or 911. There is a manhunt in connection with the Cokey Point shootout today. And in other news, the Board of Elections opened its doors as the race is on for the 2010 elections. West Small investigates at the Sunny Isle Annex.